the Sturgeon Community Hospital is not exempt when it comes to crowded wards and long waits, so they are looking to their foundation and surrounding communities to support their efforts in providing the best care possible to patients young and old. This is Unit 19. Um, it's a former pediatric unit at the Sturgeon Hospital, and we are expanding and redeveloping it into an acute um, adult medicine unit. Um, our needs on site are for the medical patients. Um, we never have enough beds for medicine on site. Um, our merge is always um, full with medical patients, which we're not able to admit um, to our medical units, so that's the reason for our expansion here. And we're hoping to gain another 14 medical beds with the redevelopment of this pediatric unit. And keeping patients in their own community is a priority. We want to keep the, the patients from the community in the community. Right. We also service a large part of Edmonton also. Uh, a huge portion of our patients comes from the Edmonton area. The Sturgeon Community Hospital Foundation is having its annual fundraiser gala to raise funds for specialized equipment, a critical component of these new units. This is a geriatric chair or a recliner chair for our um, geriatric patients that we use on the unit frequently. Um, we often never have enough of them. Um, this is a chair that we use to place our elderly patients in or any patients that might be confused or have dementia um, to help have them in a central location where we can monitor and provide care to them very safely. Seeing close to 3,000 babies delivered each year, the Sturgeon Community Hospital is also in need of a level two neonatal ICU, another goal of the Friendraiser Gala. So if a baby's requiring us to be able to observe the baby um, sort of at all times, then we, don't, we aren't able to bundle them up in a blanket. So this is a type of bed that offers radiant heat onto the baby. The baby can be left exposed um, and we can monitor the baby's breathing, their color. Um, this baby's got some leads on, so then we would have them on a cardiac monitor where we could monitor their heart rate and their breathing at all times. The importance of this unit goes beyond mom and baby's physical well-being. It would keep babies and moms together. Right now, if there's any baby that requires any extra care, would have to be transferred to one of the other sites in the Edmonton area, and mom wouldn't necessarily be able to be transferred at the same time. If you would like to donate to this worthwhile organization, go to sturgeonhospitalfoundation.org. Be sure to watch Galas and Giving, which will be covering the Friendraiser Gala only on Shaw TV. For Go Edmonton, I'm Heidi Johansson.